Hello everybody, this is David with another Verilog and FPGA video. Um, this time I'm going to be doing Pong, a single player Pong video game um, using the VGA on the Basis 3. Um, I'm just going to split this up into two parts because otherwise it would be very long. This first part is mainly just covering how to animate the ball, the non-rectangular object, right? So here, here's what the here's essentially what we're gonna have. We're gonna have the wall over here on the left, the paddle paddle here on the right that we'll control with the uh, up and down buttons on the basis three, and this ball is gonna be bouncing around. So when we did a square um, animation, right? We have the square size right here, a parameter of 32 pixels. And then we keep track of X and Y locations for top and left. And then based on wherever the top is, we can add the square size minus one. And for the left to right, we do the same thing. And we create this little square area. And then we create a signal that comes on when we're within this boundary. And then we can change it to a different color to create the square. But what do we do about a round object or a non-rectangular object? It, it doesn't really seem feasible, although it's not this square. Well, it's not this round, you know, this probably has anti-aliasing or something. I don't know. It's pretty round, but if you get right down to the pixels, it's, it's actually a jagged edge. Um, but how do you do that? It's not really feasible to do boundaries. So this is what we do. We create, so the little ball in our Pong game is gonna be created using an eight by eight ROM. So each uh, line here is an address. We have eight addresses and then we have eight data bits going across. And so we have, we use a, a signal, a ROM bit signal and as we we still calculate within the square boundaries but then we also add on the rom bit as we we read through each bit of the rom wherever we have a one that's where we'll turn on the rgb color for our circle and you'll end up with something like this let me take you to the code all right here we are in vivado um it's a basis three project target language is Verilog. You can see the modules up here over here is the hierarchy. It's just three different modules and a top. Um, I'll go through each one here. This is, uh, I'm not going to go through this, the same VGA controller that I've used in every video. It works great. I'll just scroll down so you can kind of see through it. You can find this on my GitHub page. If you need that, the link is in, um, my about page. But this works very well. And here's a, de a debouncer, button debouncer. We got three buttons, same kind of debouncer I used before, clock, button in, button out, some intermediate registers to ripple the signal through these registers um, to really get a good signal out. Button out right here from the third register. All right, here's the pixel generation for this. Uh, this is the 100 megahertz clock coming in, button for reset, up, down to move the paddle. The video on signal from the VGA controller, letting this circuit know that we're in the display area. The X and Y, that is the horizontal and vertical values and our RGB value. Excuse me. Here is the max values, zero to 639, zero to 479, 640 by 480. Uh, the refresh tick that because we only need to update this every time the screen refreshes, not 25 megahertz on a pixel tick or 100 megahertz, and that's um, we're just doing it at the start of the VSync right here. And so the wall is pretty simple; it's eight pixels wide. We just have to set a left and right boundary, and we'll paint that all the way from top to bottom. <coughs> the paddle is right here it's uh, making it four pixels wide just half of the wall i guess and then 72 pixels high and um setting up registers and wires for boundaries and buffers um, the paddle velocity is set at three pixels but um you change this value to slow it down or speed it up and then here's where the the ball stuff comes into play the ball size is eight we're using eight by eight 
So here's all our um, boundary signals for left, right, top, bottom, um, registers track top and left, um, buffers. Here's our delta registers, which are what the, the speed of the ball will be, the change. Um, here's our parameter for the ball velocity. It's either going to go uh, two pixels in a positive or negative direction in X and Y. Here's the signals for our ROM. We have a three bit ROM address and a ROM column, eight bits of data, and that ROM bit. Little register control here for buffering and the reset. And here's our ball ROM right here. Whatever address we have, this is the data for it. So we have an eight by eight. This is kind of what it looks like, just like on the slide. Um, and here's our object status signals. So we know when we're within the wall, the paddle, we're within the square, and then we're actually within the circle with the help of the ROM bit. Um, wires for the RGBs. Um, down here, I'll just skip over this real quick, but down here is where I set all the RGB values. I'm going to have a gray wall, a gray paddle, a white ball, and close to a black background. Just simple colors. Didn't know what other colors to go with <clears throat> for now. Um, so wall on signal is easy. We're within the 32 and 39. Um, we turn it on, otherwise it's off. Here's the signals for the paddle, and we have the, the top and the bottom. Um, left and right areas. There's a little bit more logic going on in here. Paddle controls. So we, we have up and down button. This is how we control moving the paddle or redrawing it. Moving it up or down. Here's our ROM square boundaries. Left, right, top, bottom. And then the square ball on. So here's the signal when we're within these square boundaries. And right here is where the the magic happens with the ROM. So our ROM address is calculated um, using Y because we're reading um, a ROM address from top to bottom. And now the column bit is, is a three bit value and this is how it's calculated and it basically becomes the index of ROM data. So this ROM call value will be from zero to seven, which is eight different values, which is great because we have eight bits of data. And then whatever that ROM bit is, it's either gonna be a zero or one inside the ROM. And then right here, we know we're within the circle because we're within the square. And then also we have a logic one on the ROM bit and that gives us our ball on. And this is to update the ball's position based on the, the delta registers for changing position. Here's how we take care of the collisions. Um, same type of thing you did with the square. Just change the ball velocity. It's either gonna be positive or negative um, wherever it's colliding and you want it to change direction to. Here's the RGB multiplexing. When we're with, when we're not in the display area, it's just going to be no value, blank or black. And then when we are in the display area, and then we have the wall on signal, we'll have the wall RGB, pad on, pad RGB, ball on, ball RGB. Otherwise, we'll have the um, background, which is close to black background. So here's the top module. <clears throat> um, just creating some wires to. Uh, tie all the modules together right here. There is uh, RGB buffer here. So that's why these wires and registers, the wires coming out capture, or the wires in here capture the register that's being driven out of the pixel generation and then it's buffered in here. Uh, here's the constraints file. We just need the 100 megahertz clock, the three buttons. I'm using U, R, and D. And then the VGA connector, change all the names, H-Sync, V-Sync, which comes from the VGA controller, of course. All right, let me, um, I'll show you it working on the screen. All right, here it is working on the screen. You can see the ball bouncing around. I am moving the paddle with the buttons on the base. Three, I'm not very good at this game. Oh, geez, I should have left it there. Oh, wow. You can kind of calculate because it moves... You know, it's moving in a predetermined direction all the time. You know, so many um, 
four, you know, 45 degree angles, two pixels by two pixels, but it's just bouncing around. You know, the next part, I'm gonna add more functionality to it. We're gonna create a score um, <clears throat> up at the top here, um, create registers to keep track of lives. Oh, BGA. But, uh, but yeah, there's uh, part one. That's how you animate a um, non-rectangular object in Verilog on a VGA. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.